Question 1. What jobs do you need to configure when you install BizTalk? Answer. The backup BizTalk job location of full and log backup. The DTA purge and archive job. At least the location where you want to archive tracking data. After you have configured the jobs, don't forget to enable them. Question 2. What are thresholds? Answer. From a BizTalk perspective, these are numeric values, which can be configured on your hosts and host instances, and lead to throttling situations once they are crossed. Question 3. Why do you have automatic throttling states and what can it be used for? Answer. To warn the BizTalk administrator that BizTalk is under stress or something abnormal is happening to the environment. These may only affect certain hosts or all hosts in the environment depending on the throttling state. Question 4. What does a high available environment mean? Answer. BizTalk can be configured in that it uses a failover or load balanced cluster. By doing so, BizTalk uses several physical or virtual machines to spread the workload. In case one of the machines goes down, BizTalk is still able to process workload on the other machines. Question 5. What is NLB? Answer. This stands for Network Load Balancing. It's one of the possibilities to make ease high available on machines where BizTalk is installed. BizTalk itself however has its own load balancing. Question 6. What is host architecture? Answer. A host architecture describes how BizTalk uses hosts and host instances for spreading its workload. Normally you have hosts for receiving messages, processing orchestrations, sending messages and tracking completed messages. Question 7. How do you route messages by receive port name? Answer. By adding a filter on a send port, which points to that receive port. Question 8. How do you measure performance for BizTalk? Answer. By using Puffman and configure counters for CPU, memory, I.O., throttling. Besides using Puffman, you can use tools like PAL, SQL.io, SQL Profiler, and Eometer. Question 9. Which are the four most important BizTalk databases? Answer. BizTalk MGMTDB contains the configuration of a BizTalk group. BizTalk Monsignbox contains the messages and work in progress. BizTalk RTADB contains information about the completed processes. SSODB contains credential information. Question 10. What are the dangers of filters combined with send port groups and multiple send ports? Answer. There is the risk that send ports which are also used in send port groups pick up the message multiple times, leading to the danger that the message is processed multiple times, where it should be processed only once. Question 11. What needs to be backed up for a complete disaster recovery? Answer. Besides the databases, the master secret key and all application and programs on the BizTalk machine. Question 12. What is an often message? Answer. An often messages is a message that has completed and finished its processing in the BizTalk message box. However, the information of this is not updated in the tracking database and will hold space in the tracking database until manually deleted or updated. Question 13. What is a zombie message? Answer. A zombie messages is a messages that arrives after an orchestration has finished and can no longer reference back to the orchestration of its origin. Question 14. Where can you locate configuration of your environment? Answer. You can locate configuration information both on the BizTalk machines and the BizTalk MGMTDB. Question 15. How many hosts can we have? Answer. There is no rule about how many hosts you may have. However, there are certain guidelines and it's recommended to have hosts for the following receive host, used for all in process receiving processing host, used for all orchestration isolated host, used for all ease receiving send host, used for sending of messages tracking host, used for moving data from message box to tracking database there may be more than one for each of these jobs depending on the workload and resource usage including host settings etc.